Okay, they're starting to put in the drain field. That damn laser transit, pretty cool. That's that little unit right there, that thing in the blue box. That's pretty slick. That's quite the little unit. I'm gonna have a nice backyard. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, here's a peek at the uh, inside of the tank. As you can see, it's all different chambers. Put quite a few bodies in this one. There's your outflow. There's the ditch getting longer. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, <clears throat> this is the first uh, ditch. These guys make it look easy. Of course, when you have the proper equipment, and this is what you do, and, uh, they do make it look easy. That's the first line. All right, I'll be back. All right, so these infiltrators, how are you going to hook these up? We're going to come straight out of that tank with three inch PVC, go right into the top of these domes, take a hole saw bit, cut right into it. We're going to take a straight elbow, pop it right in. We'll that make that all hooked up then we'll come over here to the very end of this make another crossover going from this ditch to that ditch to the second ditch so we'll, we'll do the same thing we'll take a hole saw bit drill into this one and drill right into the top of that one and then we'll hook it up and there you have it folks that's from mr booth himself that's right so you need some work done out here in tennessee kentucky area that's the man you want to see right there all right there you go that's the infiltrator system um, what was the word you use? Chambers. Chambers. That's what they call them, chambers. All right, more to come. Okay, now down here, doing the dirty work, is Mr. Cody, and he's locking these chambers together. And don't try this at home, because he is a professional. Put these together. These lips right here, one side, at least one side's got to go under the other chamber oh yeah look at that that's pretty slick you need to have a, a, a little chat there with uh, who's ever digging these trenches for you to get, tighten up a little bit one of them roots is giving you a fit ain't they yeah and there you go. When they're installed properly, they'll lay flat on the ground. You saying I'm not installing them properly? Yeah. You're still in the learning process. <laughs> Man, look at them roots down there. Wow. That's a pain. Yeah, that's pretty slick the way that goes in. When your boss cuts you out a big enough hole to put him in. Right. <laughs> See, I can say that because I'm writing a check. Well, there you go. That's the infiltrator system. Chambers. Going here in my property. I'll be living like a human out here pretty soon. Maybe. All right. There'll be more. All right. We got the... Uh, Main drain line, line in from the uh, tank to the first uh, drain field. It's got a nice healthy 14 inch drop to it. I'm going to walk down here so this might be a little bumpy. Let me show you the finished uh, end result. I hope you want to see it. If I can get through these friggin' vines, I mean uh, roots. Damn it. T uh, t tomorrow. There's nothing going to be happening because the state guy's got to come inspect this. <clears throat> Try to walk over this. There's three lines totaling 250 feet of these infiltrators. And then there's, I believe they call them hump pipes. 
Let's see if I can't show you one. There's one from here going that way. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's one set. There's a line going to the second row of infiltrators. Another one going across over there to that third row. It's a whole lot bigger than it looked on paper. So it gets inspected and it gets covered up. And then I'm going to clear out this area so I can have a nice looking yard back up here. Okay, that's it. Day one of the septic system. We're just waiting on inspection and this part's over. Alright, catch you later.